capitalist dogs, of course, because we all do. But uh, but uh, the the creative thrust of these technologies is being driven by people just like you and me, and I think this is all tremendously positive. So um, where am I in all of this? Well, I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, and then finally, I guess, and I'll just close on this, the alchemical return. Uh, all culture is some kind of myth. All cultural stories, then, have a psychic dynamic to them, which is not suspected by the civilization as it lives, these myths. It has to be seen from outside. And there is a consistent myth in, in, let's call it just Western civilization without being too precise, a consistent myth. Uh, in the early Jews, you get it as the idea that God will enter history. With Christianity, you get it with the idea that man and God can be consubstantial. Uh, again, in Islam, the insistence that God will enter history. And then modern science, strangely enough, dumps all of this theology, but maintains the idea that man can become as a god. In other words, the myth that is consistent throughout the entire Western experience is the myth of some kind of defining progressive experience. Well, now we have the power to realize this myth in some kind of, uh, uh, for want of a better word, an alchemical utopia. And I think it's very interesting that at this very high-tech moment in our adventure, the plants return, the humblest of all biology. The plants return and almost stand before us as a, a beacon and a promise. Have you noticed that plants do all their business with dirt and air. This is something we only wish we could do. Build an industrial society based on nothing more than the ambient uh, dirt and the air flowing past. Uh, building sugars and carbohydrates out of gaseous oxygen. I mean, this is uh, quite a trick. The plants stand both in, in the psychedelic sense, but then in the larger sense of the vegetable kingdom, they stand for absolute Tao. They stand for the correct way for life to relate to its environment, effortlessly recycling, vegetatively propagating when necessary, sexually propagating when necessary, uh, immune to pain, patient to the tune of centuries, uh, always building up structure, always maintaining a leavening effect upon the land. All of these qualities of caregiving and uh, uh, well, notice, for example, that all the processes of biology occur below the boiling point of water. If we could build societies that did that, we work at the, in the range of hundreds of degrees, thousands of degrees, fusing metals and creating toxicity. So I think the, the psychedelic plant revolution which is leading toward the nanotechnological revolution. In other words, the imitating of nature at the atomic level in building of machines and, and the, the management of processes. What all of this is leading <coughs> toward is a rarefaction, a good alchemical word, a rarefaction of the human uh, imprint on this planet, a spiritualization 
of humanity and a new order of mind, part machine, part human. Uh, notice that the Internet and the computers that it serves are actually made of the materials of the earth. They're largely metals, silicon, glass, copper, gold, silver. These are the products of demonic artifice. These are the things which the alchemists dreamed of. They transform space and time. They allow us to speak at a distance. They allow us to wander through libraries thousands of miles distant. No fact is too obscure, no person so hidden that you can't reach them. Uh, it is, in a way, the perfection of the magical ideal that was developed and uh, unfortunately prematurely launched by Frederick the Elector and his wife here nearby at Heidelberg. And so I'm involved, as I said, in a process of bringing this story to many people who haven't heard it. It's a great story. It's a, it's a great myth that the underground community should uh, make its own. And, you know, I used it this evening just as the scaffold for this talk, but I tried to hit the things that are important to me, which are psychedelics, recovery of archaic lifestyles, use of media to subvert existing paradigms, empowerment of the individual through dissolving the ego through psychedelics, and... Um, Oh, I don't know, whatever else. So thank you for your patience and indulgence, and if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer.